uh, we're getting ready for a typhoon. Just talked to one of the other sailors and it looks like uh, it will be a direct hit. I've set myself the ambitious goal of sailing across the North Pacific before I'm 70. I want to go through the Great Pacific Garbage Patch to a place I've called Nemo North, which is just a notional point of coordinates. And then I want to get on to Vancouver, and I had planned to go this year to see my mom before she forgets who I am. But alas, that was too ambitious. So now I'm cruising Japan, learning how to sail, learning more about my boat, Wahine. So please join me as a rookie sailor trying to realize a dream. Good morning, it's uh, just uh, before six o'clock. Um, I'm actually um, on the other side of Kyushu this morning. Uh, I drove across here yesterday, uh, rented a little car, and I had planned to sleep in the car uh, last night, but while at uh, like seven o'clock, it was still 37 degrees, so I got myself a small air-conditioned room overnight. And the reason I'm here is I'm meeting uh, one of my best friends, and he's one of my sponsors, and I think he's only a sponsor because he's one of my best friends, uh, Harry Hill of the uh, president of the UFC gym in Japan. And uh, they're in town visiting their son, Ryan, who is also, I consider, a, a very good friend. And uh, he's a assistant basketball coach of a team here. So we've agreed to rendezvous up and we're having the Kumamoto Ramen uh, with them uh, uh, later today. This is not the first time I've been to Kumamoto. I've cycled through many times before. Uh, on, uh, it was on my first trip when I cycled Kyushu to Hokkaido, chasing the cherry blossom. I came through Kumamoto and began my ascent up to Mount Aso. Um, and I had forgotten what a beautiful part of Japan this is in the Aso caldera, which I drove through yesterday and I've cycled through several times. I also used to lead an annual bicycle tour called the Nagasaki Pilgrimage, which loosely followed the the Martyr's Trail from Kyoto to Nagasaki, but we cheated. I would take a ferry from Osaka to Beppu, and then I would cycle across up the hill to Yufuin, uh, then to the Aso Caldera, then down to Kumamoto. Driving around here yesterday, um, I drove around the castle, and you know what, I don't think I, well, I know I didn't fully appreciate the damage this city took in the earthquake, and particularly around the castle, and the castle such a, dramatic castle, I think, for Japan. A beautiful one. So I'm getting up early to go for walkies. Kumamoto, they have electric tram cars. It's one of Kumamoto's main uh, shopping streets. It's covered and it's kind of, there's a little bit of a grid system. Here. There's also the nightlife section. I strolled through at nine o'clock last night before I retired to my air-conditioned room. And uh, it was pretty lively, I must say, for Corona period. I was told everything closes at eight o'clock. That was not the case. It seemed that when I went to bed at nine o'clock, things were just starting to heat up and the crowds were, the streets were getting fuller. And even now as I left the hotel, um, I saw, uh, party stragglers going home. So that's closed, and that's the castle. Okay, I just had my favorite lunch, Oyako Donburi, here in Kumoto, and I've come here to see this guy, Ryan, the basketball coach. Who are you and what do you do? I'm um, Ryan Hill, and I am a new assistant coach slash uh, assistant coach slash interpreter for 
Kumamoto Volters this year. So Kumo, Kumo, Kumamoto Volters? Volters, how do you spell that? Volters, you spell uh, Kumamoto, uh, Kumamoto and V-O-L-T-E-R-S. Okay, Volters. So watch that team, watch this guy, and a YouTube channel coming soon. Yeah, we'll be we making some moves soon. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> I've already got uh, Wahine spider webbed up, ready to go. Uh, they're gonna leave the clubhouse open all night and uh, the wind is going to come from the sea starting mid afternoon through to late evening, become quite intense about nine. And then we're gonna get a calm as we go through the eye, that's projection at least. And then the wind will come from the land after that. So the calm before the storm. I'm, uh, I'm making this a bit of a stress test. I'm making the judgment that I don't need to take down my Bimini and my Dodger. The Bimini is at the very back. It has solar panels and the Dodger's the green with the windows. I've just laced them down with its own spider web and uh, I'll see how it goes. Some other people have taken down everything, including their for sale. Most have left their mains up. I've left my for sale up. I've been through uh, a couple of typhoons before that were more serious than this one. And uh, so we'll see. Checked on the Wahine and uh, she's fine. I think we're at about 25 30 knots max. It's gone past three o'clock back on board Wahine. The, the, the storm has passed. Uh, it hasn't been too severe at all. It's the course changed direction, which was to our benefit. Uh, the wind is now coming from inland, and so the boat is now being blown against the dock, then rather than away from the dock. The rain subsided, so I can open up some of the hatches at least. So I've come back on board uh, Wahine to finish the night sleeping here. Uh, I noticed one of my big fenders has been uh, has disappeared, so. Uh, it must have taken a beating and I hadn't secured it well enough. But anyways, here I am back on board. She's rock and roll a little bit, but all within the realm of being pleasant. Coming out the next morning after the typhoon, uh, particularly just to see if there's any damage to the boat, I don't think there is. Uh, I know I lost a fender. So I'm gonna go searching for that. Uh, if you can see how this is often the case. and murky look in the water is. I decided to keep up my Bimini and Dodger. No damage. I laced down the solar panels a little bit more, uh, but they're, they're already laced down and Velcro down too. You know what? I fall in love with Velcro. Marine grade Velcro is so handy. It was really nice coming back onto the boat. Well, it was still blowing now from another direction. And, uh, had a nice sleep. It's now 6.30 in the morning. Uh, 
Well, I think I'll, I found my fender. I think that's it. Hey, Wahine, look what I found. I got her back for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 